Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've uh, come down to Cornwall for a half turn break and at the moment we're at the beach car park at Sennon Cove and we're just about to have a look around Sennon Cove and uh, off towards Land's End so hopefully there'll be one or two images along the way. Well, we walked along the uh, seafront at uh, Sennon Cove from the beach up to the harbour area and uh, you've got the, the harbour wall uh, it's just around here somewhere uh, I don't know if you can see it the waves were really breaking quite high above there and then we just carried on walking um, and right at the end of Sennon Cove you've got this cliff and every now and again the waves just crash uh, right over the highest point here uh, it's quite spectacular and trying to capture it on camera is uh, proving a little bit tricky at the moment but I've got a circular polarizer uh, with a Lee six stop filter just to try and get a slightly extended shutter speed of about half a second somewhere in that region um, if any of them come out I'll uh, endeavour to put one up on the screen for you now We're just coming up now from uh, Sennon Cove and uh, climbing the stairs uh, up to uh, the southwest coast path, um, making our way around to Land's End. But the views from up here are uh, beautiful, and today the waves are crashing out over by Sennon down there. Um, hopefully, got one or two good images.
Well, we have now managed to walk all the way around from Senan Cove, around to Land's End, and uh, currently right at the viewpoint at Land's End by the first and last house, um, right on the, the coast here. Um, on the way around, it's only a mile walk, but on the way around, I kept stopping. There was so many images to take. Um, lighting and weather conditions weren't the best. It did pour down um, briefly while we were coming across so the camera and vlogging gear had to be put away um, but I think I've got one or two images and we're now just at Man's End um, deciding what to do for the rest of the afternoon now it's meant to be a kind of a bit of a half term break for me and the wife so it's not really a, a photography trip but I'm just trying to vlog bits and pieces of it as and when I can so these vlogs might be a little bit all over the place but hopefully uh, there'll be one or two images that are worth um, showing so uh, bear with me for the next uh, vlog or two because it could be a bit all over the place but hopefully it'll be enjoyable um, somewhere different we've been to Cornwall once before uh, a few years ago uh, stayed at Red Roof but this time we're staying um, uh, near Penzance in uh, St Birin a lovely little cottage called Dew Cottage um, it's a beautiful little barn conversion done really really well um, and it's literally a, a 10 minute drive uh, down to San and Cove. It's been fantastic. Um, so yeah, onwards for the rest of the day and hopefully some more images. And uh, we'll see where we are around about sunset, but uh, just playing it by ear at the moment. Well, we're almost at sunset. Uh, there's a bit of cloud on the horizon. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any real color. But the main problem up here at the moment is the wind. Uh, trying to take some slightly longer exposures at some of the sea stacks and uh, uh, lighthouse that's out there. Um, but I'm not sure how they're gonna come out because the, the wind is so strong with the filters on the front of the lens. I think it's actually uh, moving the, the whole setup. So. You know, we might end up with one or two that are, are reasonable, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to stick around for sunset because we've got probably a, a 40 minute walk back to the car now to Senan, and it's probably going to end up being dark by the time we get there. But, uh, hopefully there's one or two images there. Uh, again, thanks very much for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers then.